decision because Ohio State has about two dozen recruits that will be coming to campus this weekend to consider that school. In addition, they spent all day long in the last couple of days calling the recruits who have pre-signed with Ohio State, trying to reassure them that they're going to do the right thing and hoping they'll keep their commitments to Ohio State University, Bob Brett. Well, we bring it up because journalistically we feel we have to because we know many of you have heard the rumors or heard the reports that have surfaced today. Quite frankly, does it belong in a game when your shining moment as a head coach is about to be your first national championship? Probably not. And right now, they're 159 away from it. And I think if you ask Bob Stoops about it after the game, he just would want to enjoy this moment. Absolutely. And why not? They started out at number 20 at the beginning of the season. In October, they beat the number one and number two teams, and Texas, who was ranked number 10. Nobody gave him any respect coming into this ball game. There were 12, 13-point underdogs coming in. But like Bob Stoops says, if we listen to the odds makers, we've been seven and four this year. High pull out a keeper, fakes it, keeps it himself, and gets out to the 35-yard line. And the clock becomes the enemy to Florida State. Hi, I'm Joe Theismann. And no matter what stadium... ...years go out, and when you lose a guy like Chris Wenke and so many more... It'll be a different year, but you can bet they'll be good again. Well, they lose seven off their offense, plus their two quarterbacks, top two quarterbacks, and their offensive coordinator. Third down and two. Florida State stops them. No gain on the play for Ronaldo Works. But the clock winding down to 140 and counting. I want to thank all the folks that helped us all season long. Best spotter in the country is Clint Deans, and the best statistician is Pat McGrath, our sideline coordinator. Dick Shafter, Technical Operations Manager Jake Leeson and Randy Joseph. Our production managers, Mike Heskett and Judy Wise. Computer stats by Anthony Holman and Craig Rothberg this year. Our college football researchers keep us abreast of everything. Ben Kieberman and Rich Kamala. Assistance to the producer, John Coral, Charlie Vanacore, Jason Javicchio, Marvin Watson and Jeff Define. Technical directors, Brad Sheldon and Kevin Bierman. Our associate producers, Praven Martin and Derek Mobley. And another... Punt coming up, high snap over the Ferguson's head, and he's now going to run back. Smart move. And take a safety. That Smart. is a brilliant move by the putter. Smart move. Can you believe it? You got the game. There's a minute left to go, and the snap goes over. What if he hadn't gotten in the end zone here? This is a great move by the punter. If he wouldn't have gotten in the end zone, Florida State would have had a first and goal. If he would have let them get to the ball first, it would have been a touchdown. Exactly. Great move. Well, he's punted enough tonight to be on the field and know what to do, yeah. I guess. He got the bounce to pick it up. And so often you'll see the ball bounce funny, and the uh, punter will not be able to pick it up. That's just a very smart move. Heads up. Everything they've done tonight has been pretty heads up. And so, the junior punter from Tulsa, Oklahoma, just came up with a heads up play. But 